Hi guys, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm doing another Top 5 Wednesday. As always, the Goodreads group is in the description below if you want to check that out. And this week's topic is books that we want to see as TV shows. So I picked book series because I think that they lend themselves better to a television show because there's more to go off of. And there are also things where I, I really want to know about the secondary characters. Like... The main characters are awesome and we need to keep them, but I would like to know more about the secondary characters. Um, I tried to pick ones that were not already movies, but having said that, the first one I failed at because of what I really, really, really desperately want is a Harry Potter television show where we go through each of these books, you know, one year per season, go through all of Harry's schooling, and <laughs> really get to see the Wizarding World. Like, get to know all these background characters. Because we need to know more about Dean Thomas and Luna and Neville and the teachers. Like, we need to know all of this. Um, and I'm totally fine if it's CGI or animated or live action. Any way they want to do this. But I really want Harry Potter, like, drawn out, like, 26 episodes per season, an hour each, you know. <laughs> I want all of Harry Potter, guys. Um, also, we could do prequels with the Marauders. Or we can go into the future, or we can do The Cursed Child and see Albus and Scorpius. You know, there are so many possibilities for turning Harry Potter into a television show. And I need so much, so much more Harry Potter in my life, guys. So please, this is, this is like my number one pick. Um. <laughs> Next, I have The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. These are... Sci-fi fairy tale retellings, they are set in the future, and we have Cinder as our main character who is a cyborg, um, and <laughs> the people on Earth are trying to not get into a war with the people who live on the moon who have, like, these crazy powers that they've evolved. Um, <laughs> it's a really horrible description, probably, but I really... I love this series so much and I want more of it and I want to know everything that happens in this world. So doing this as a television show instead of a movie would be a great way to do that. Because um, there are just so many characters in this series. Like from Aiko and Winter and Jason and Kai. Just I can't even remember them all off the top of my head right now. Like I need to know about all of these characters and I need to see this world fully realized. And it would be great. Then I have the Enchanted Ink series by Shauna Swenson. These follow Katie Chandler, who is immune to magic, but works at a magic company with wizards who develop spells and illusions. Um, so business type New York setting here. There's magic going on. It would be great sitcom with like romance and action. And there's fighting in there and this like political or and this business rivalry between Idris Fillion, who's trying to start up this company and take over the world. Well, not really take over the world, but like producing evil spells. And I just, I love it. It's great as a series. I would love to see it developed for screen. Television would be awesome. I would accept a movie version of this also. So next up, I have the selection series by Kira Cass. These are dystopian royal bachelor stories. So the premise of these books is that there's this thing called a selection and ladies from all over the kingdom come to the palace to compete for the hand of Maxon the prince and it's televised. So I think that this would be excellent as a television show and getting to see all the contestants like this would be the best way to really get to see each of the ladies competing and to get to see more of the palace and get to know Maxon better. Um, plus we could get to see all the awesome pretty gowns and outfits they have. Um, and we could really develop the political stuff that's going on in the country at the time. It would just be awesome television, guys. It's already based off, like, a reality television show. Let's just go ahead and make this into a TV show. Because it would be epic. Also, you've got a built-in sequel with The Crown in the Air and following... Maxon's daughter, Edlin, so ta-da. Okay, so the last book series I have, what I really want is an American version of Horrible Histories, which is a children's educational television show in Britain. 
that is set up as sketch comedy. So it's a series of comedy sketches that deal with actual things that happened in history, but it's really freaking hilarious. Some of them are songs, some of them are just straight up, you know, acting it out, but they are all epic and I want an American version of this with American history and more world history. I mean, I love the Tudors and all, but like, I feel like this would be an excellent way for me to learn more about the Revolutionary War or the War of 1812, but whatever. So the book series I think that would adapt well to an American version of this is Stupid History. This would become like a more grown-up version, I think, but these books are by Leland Gregory and they are just short little one-page things about stupid stuff that happened in history. So any one of these little topics he picked could be its own sketch and they would be awesome. So there's like stupid history and stupid American history and stupid science. I also have stupid on the road which probably would not like develop well into a history show but I know he has more of these books. These are just the ones I own and they would just be an awesome sketch show I think. Um, or we could just make an American version of Horrible Histories. That's also totally fine. So there are my top five book series that need to become television shows. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see. If you think any of these would be awesome um, <laughs> as well. Yeah. <laughs> Peace out. I love you guys. And keep reading. Bye.